All right, guys, it is January 28th, and <clears throat> I always wanted to get another one of these saws. I had just about every Husqvarna they make, except for this one. My favorite one was the 385 XP. So I didn't really need another saw, but I was like, you know what, I could use one cut up the firewood because we got some big logs and <clears throat> most of our big saws I keep on the truck for tree jobs yeah, but I've always liked uh, huskies and I always wanted to get a bigger husky and usually these saws are like anywhere from a thousand twelve thirteen hundred dollars I found this one on Facebook marketplace for like 750 and it's brand new it's never been used uh, guy in the military bought it, got it for a Christmas present. He was going to do some uh, milling and just not a, never got around to it. He got shipped out, so he said that he didn't need it anymore, didn't want to take it with him, and I couldn't pass it up. <clears throat> didn't even try to negotiate. He already had it at 900 dropped it down to 750 and uh, it's really hard to find a really good saw, especially a bigger saw, for less than a 1000 bucks. So I think I did a pretty good, did pretty good. Also, too, came with a 24-inch bar. I'll probably put a 28 or 32 on eventually, um, but I'm going to use it as is and just order another bar maybe on the internet. I might have a couple bars and chains at the shop. I just have to check. It's been a while since I had a big um, husky that was actually used. Um, I had a 395 XP, a 394 XP, a 385 XP, a um, bunch of ranchers, everything in between from tiny to, uh, I never had a 3120, uh, but other than that, but I've had just about all of them. So I will take this out tomorrow after, if we get done, we have a crane job tomorrow, I might take it with me but the trees aren't very big, but uh, I'm anxious to try this out. It's got some pretty big, big do steel dogs on it. Already got it engraved, got my stickers on it. So I'm excited to see how this works. Another thing I really like about these Huskies, they're very simple. Clear down to the uh, gas and oil plugs uh, like steels have like a intricate set of gas and oil um, caps these caps here are just simple they're old school they're just there's no there's only one part and I really like the part that goes into the gas and oil tank they you just squeeze them together you don't have to on the steels you got to reach in there and try to find where that little pin goes and then after a while they get all twisted up <clears throat> so you gotta untwist them or you have a hard time getting them to uh, rethread. With these you can just pull them out, stick them back in and screw them in. On the steels you have to there's a you have to flip them, twist them, push them down, turn them and then lock them in and sometimes after you lock them in you think they're locked in and I've had many times where I start climbing up the tree and all the gas and oil or one of the gas or oil just starts leaking all over my pants. It actually happened uh, the other day. So, yeah, I just, I really like the simplicity of these Huskies. <clears throat> um, also, too, they're had a really good, every one I've had, I've really never had a problem starting them. I've um, had a couple old 20-year-old saws hanging in the shop, haven't started them in years, fired right up. I've had brand new steels. <clears throat> uh, they run great. Brand new steel, you run great, turn it off, and then I couldn't get started again, like it vapor locked. So, and that with the fuel cap thing, it's just, it's really irritating, especially when you're trying to get a job done and you're messing around trying to start a saw. It looks very unprofessional too. So anyway, this is the uh, 372 XP. And it's not super heavy. That's another thing I like about it too. It's a big saw, but it's not like super heavy. 
and you can put a pretty big bar on it too and it has enough power to pull it all right i plan on uh using this tomorrow and i'll make a video and we'll see how she how she rocks have a great day if you like this video crush the like button and we'll see you on the next one